Okay, great morning, everyone. Hi. Oh, I'm passing under a light. <laughs> Sorry about the dark. Um, but I wanted to talk about something. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's still dark out. Um, but what I wanted to bring up today was, you know, what is with the Republicans mindset, you know, where are these guys coming from? Well, what I discovered is, you know, the Democrats are more toward, like we are towards the humanitarian you know, what's good for here is good for all. And we want to see everyone prosper. We want to see what's good for the planet as a whole. Well, what is on the Republican plate? What is their outlook? Where have they stemmed this from? Well, where they stemmed it from was, remember, back in the, what was it about the, I know in the 60s I read this book, Ayn Rand, Atlas Shrugged. Now it had a big import um, and uh, reaction for me during that time when I read it. And when you read it, the first thing is you're, you're kind of in admiration of the guy a little bit. Uh, I forget, oh, was it Rourke or something? so long ago I've read that. But he was a self-made man, an industrialist. The only thing that was important to him was his own accomplishments. Okay? Um, and it sounds good on the surface. You know, you become a self-made man, you stand up and, you know. But there was no um, within that there was no consciousness of anyone else. It was all about them, and that, that's it. You know, your own thing, you, you, you rise or fall on your own. And uh, what I discovered was that these uh, guys started this club based on the Ayn Rand Atlas Shrugged. Um, Outlook, okay? Women were not allowed in this club for many, many years, even though the author of this book is Ayn Rand is a woman, okay? Uh, but that's basically where they've gotten their uh, motivation, their outlook on life. And that's what they'll say, you know, if a man is not making a lot of money, then that's on him. That's his own fault. They're not worth my time, not worth my effort. The only thing that's worth my time and my effort is what I can do. And how I affect myself, my life, my, you know. Um, so it's a very different outlook, a very different mentality that they developed. And like I said, on the surface, it sounds fine. It sounds great. You know, you rise or fall by your own actions. But again, they don't take into consideration anyone else. And uh, they have no humanity. They have no, um, they don't care for the welfare of others at all. It's very ego-based. Uh, it's all about me, my life, what I get, uh, my perception of myself, uh, and, and that's it. Okay? So, yeah, it's, it's, this is a tough nut to crack. Because again, you know, on the surface, it sounds good. I know, like I said, when I read that book, I, I don't know how many of you read the book, Atlas Shrugged, and how did it affect you when you, re when you read it? Okay. Yeah, 
like I said, uh, you know, I read it and it, it really did make an impact. And, you know, again, it sounded really good on the surface. But uh, really, there's no, no humanity in it. Merge onto I-5 South. There's just not. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to bring uh, to the table this morning. That uh, this is where um, their, their stuff stems from. The Ayn Rand, Atlas Shrugged, mentality of it's great to become an industrialist and they are a, a king in their own eyes and I think this is what Trump is trying to trying to do trying to be I'm sure his father was probably one of those in half a mile influenced right by this States. and so that's what he grew up around and the only uh, thing that they see a value is what you've done work-wise in your life. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's a, a it's a very skewed view. I don't know. I'd rather turn right onto Marguerite Street. I'd rather see, you know, what you've done for humanity and how you've uh, made made it better for others, rather than how much money you can acquire, how much property, etc. In three quarters of a mile, turn a right onto East Street. Egoist, you can become. Um, it's it's a totally different demeanor okay so i'm gonna leave this here uh and i'd like to get your view what you think of this um ah, <laughs> trying to get in here to get some proceed to the route yeah sorry about that uh, proceed to the route i'll proceed to the route this thing drives you crazy so let me get in here and jump down, get proceed to the route. Gas in the car and turn this thing off so it'll quit selling me to proceed to the route. Let me get that up far enough. Oop, right there should do it. Okay. Wow. Up oh, there's the boys. I should show you the boys. There's the boys. Hey boys. Say hey. Say, hey, Max. He said, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing this morning. <laughs> I'm going to leave this here. Jump out, put on a jacket, get some gas, and then we're going to continue to head down the road. Have a good one. See you online. Aho.